asked all the time about landscape design, as if there's rules to follow. <sighs> That's exactly why I like to visit my friend Jane's garden. Now don't get me wrong, Jane is serious about her landscape. I love her front plantings, which consist of an eclectic mix of nice plant material. Approaching the front door, I like the spring growth on the golden thryallis displayed on the rusty brown stems. In July, these shrubs will put on a display of bright yellow flower clusters, each tinged with red stamens and pistils. The head-high pinkish angel trumpets with their downward pointing flowers are just starting to bloom. Look at all the buds hanging, waiting their turn to shine. I love the Mexican heather growing along the front border. These look good around the base of the kneeling terracotta warrior. The profuse purple flowers are produced on compact plants. These plants are regularly divided and replanted filling in spaces around the landscape. And how about the coarse and interesting texture of this agave or century plant? I've always thought of these as being solitary plants. It's surprising to me how many little baby agave offsets are produced around the base of the plant. The garden should be a place to enjoy and have fun, so go ahead and get some interesting plants for your landscape. I'm horticulturist Gary Bachman, and I'll see you next time on Southern Gardening.